get in a cooler position. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> this is exciting mashing, though. Come on. <laughs> Two men and a baby. Yeah. Uh, so we got the boil cranking, just at our first hot drop of ounce of Centennial. Hey Jason, your toes are going to be on YouTube. Hey! <laughs> well, they're not very pretty, but they're mine. And Matt's already got <laughs> plenty of videos online. We'll shoot you links, not safe for work. Well, we um, just wrapped up the brew day. I didn't get a whole lot of footage. Um, nobody showed up that could help with the camera. So by the time Jason got here, we'd already mashed in. And um, took me and Matt to do the mash in. So nobody to hold the camera. That sucks. Whatever. Um, we ended up, uh, brew day went pretty well. Uh, ran a little long. I don't care. Um, we did the Hunter's IPA, has a, let's see, look at my beer smith here, 12 pounds of two row, a pound of crystal tin, a pound of flaked oat, and a pound of flaked barley. It's um, three ounces of Centennial in the bowl, uh, six, one ounce at 60 minutes, one ounce at fi 15 minutes, and an ounce at five. Uh, chill it down, pitch USO5. There's some yeast nutrient in there too. And uh, we pitch yeast nutrient at 10 minutes. And um, it's going to get another ounce of Centennial and two ounces of Amarillo and the five day dry hop. <clears throat> and then we'll bottle it up and see what it's all about. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Successful brew day, I think. We won't really know until we drink the beer. So, PBR action. Probably um, brewing not this coming weekend, but the next as well. Um, I'm out of homebrew. I've got one homebrew here, and it's the one I'm aging. So, I'm, I'm out. So, what I'm going to do probably do a quick extract here in two weeks. Um, friend of mine, neighbor, he's going to fire up his smoker, which is a freaking awesome smoker. Um, build up a propane tank on a trailer. We run it a few times a year. It's, it's always a good day. We're going to smoke some meat, then um, brew a little beer while we do that, and it'll be a good day. But we'll uh, should have a crowd of people around, so I ought to have plenty of people to run the camera. And, yeah. I know I'm kind of looking like I'm over there because I'm using my cell phone and the camera's right there. See ya. But, hey. So, I'm hoping this Hunter's IPA that we just brewed today just turns out to be, calling an IPA, I'm hoping it gives like a really, like, thick, fruity, tropical pale ale. That's, that's what I'm after. Uh, we'll see if that happens. So, I think it will. But, yeah. I'll um I'll get the video put together with a little bit of footage I do have. We did get pictures, so I can use those. And maybe post it up. Let's see, it's Sunday today. Wednesday or Thursday, maybe. Maybe probably. Um, and start planning for the next. Um maybe even I'm thinking of Amber. But um said in a previous video that these are potentially wedding beers and I need to get nailed down before I actually brew the wedding batch. And I'm, I'm really leaning towards an amber. Um, might go chocolate stout, but I'm thinking 
And amber is a really good way to get people that aren't into good beer into good beer. It's a good amber is full of flavor. It is not an intimidating beer if they don't look at it. A lot of people call it, hey, that dark beer, even though it's really not. So, all right. Well, we will see you later.